Hello Gemini and welcome to your May reading. I hope that everybody's doing well and I know that we're just getting out of a retrograde cycle. We talked a bit about it last month and although it can be challenging, there are also many opportunities to release patterns, to release fear and uh, a lot of intu intuitive information that can come through, especially in the form of dreams or during your meditation. Some of you may receive uh, downloads, visions or uh, clairvoyance. So if that happens, uh, please welcome it in. This is basically a gift from the universe telling you here are the things that are triggers for you. If you should choose to do so, this is the time to release them. So your channeled information this month is to be compassionate, um, to exercise compassion not only towards others, but more importantly towards yourself, because a lot of times we are very difficult uh, or we're very hard on ourselves when things don't go the way that we want them to. So I would say be kind to yourself, be forgiving. And then in, up in your life, when there are other people who maybe even in your opinion don't deserve your compassion, all the more reason to shower them with it uh, because it could change their life. A lot of times people are hurt and uh, sometimes just don't know how to change it around. and somebody has to make the difference turn a new leaf and just uh, give them a little bit of kindness so even if someone's testing you this month you can do one of two things one try not to engage and exacerbate it two you could actually try to elevate the mood and uh, you know offer them empathy try to help them or just be compassionate to towards what they're going through and maybe not judge them because sometimes they've gotten so much of that it just is like a self-perpetuating cycle that they get into all right, so let's go ahead and expand the reading now and take a look at the month itself. Actually, the expanded portion will come after this, which is when we look at health, wealth, love, and destiny. But uh, what I'm going to look at right now is the Celtic cross, and we'll see just how the month is going to um, begin and what the key elements are that are creating both opportunity and sometimes blocks for this month. I'm getting a lot of Six of Cups as I look at different signs this month, and uh, you're no exception. And what that means is really a, a chance to connect with friends from the past, people that you love, uh, your family. There's a lot of relationship energy that's been coming through um, in pretty much every sign, which is, which is a good thing. That just shows me that the focus is about people this month, uh, first and foremost. So your central card is Page of Swords, which in its upright position is pretty good. This could be an announcement of a new project. This could be you uh, telling someone about part of yourself or a, again a project or something that you want to actually go out and uh, share with the world. For those of you litigating, it's also a good month for that from what I can see so far. We'll continue to look and see if there's any exceptions to that. But this is a great time to share your message, especially through written and spoken words. So communication for you, even through the retrograde is great. Uh, and if there's something that you need to wrap up or revisit, especially uh, for, you know, basically favorable for you. Uh, on top of that is the Six of Cups, which has to do with uh, best friends, children, familial bonds, and sometimes new relationships where you feel a, a deep soul connection with your partner. So uh, for those of you that are single, this could come in the form of a really... I would say it's a, it's a very open and communicative air sign, a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius, so possibly someone of the same sign. Uh, but this can also be an element of yourself, which is just saying, embrace your ability to speak and write well and try to engage. This is a great time for public speaking or uh, if you needed to like do door-to-door -door sales or rally support for something, very good month for Gemini to do that. When we look at last month, there were some significant challenges for many of you. Nine of Swords is mostly a fear card. It can manifest itself as um, sometimes in the body as chronic pain. It can also be sleeplessness, but sometimes it's just an inability to make a decision or move to the next thing because of either paralyzing fear or these thoughts of failure or how will people view me? So what I would like to try to encourage you as you begin this month, as we look at what's affecting it, we have the Eight of Cups in reverse. Eight of Cups is a mostly good card. This is about um, the ability to sometimes 
go out on a, almost a, a vision quest uh, to sometimes you want to be by yourself for this. So if you haven't taken like a day trip in a long time, take one day off, you know, get in, get in the car and just spend some time with yourself soul searching. Because we have two cards here, the Six of Cups is about friendships, old friends. The Eight of Cups is actually about someone from your past. So I actually think for many of you, you might be dealing or calling up old relationships from like childhood or early in your life. And this is a chance to go back and fix things. If someone in your life is no longer alive, this is a chance to release that energy into the ethers and just say, you know, I loved you. I'm sorry things didn't go the way that we wanted them to, but I'm ready now to move on. Um, talking about the compassion, uh, I understand your point of view and I hope you can understand mine and letting yourself move on because sometimes we sit there and beat ourselves up and think, you know, why couldn't I have done this? Or if I'd said this, or if I'd only been like five minutes earlier, this wouldn't have happened. This card is saying, um, let go, but give yourself one more chance to go down that road and then compassionately let loose. Again, for some of you, this could just be someone coming in from the past that wants a chance again to connect with you and clear things or perhaps more because these are also romantic cards, cups. I see um, your crowning card is the four pentacles reversed and this is about holding things in your heart space just as much as it is about being careful with your finances. Usually there's fear associated with this. So as we're looking at the overall cards this month, I'm not seeing money going out, but I'm seeing a fear of, you know, do I have enough? Uh, what's around the corner? Is my job at risk? And sometimes these fears can manifest because we start to wear them on our sleeves or we start to communicate differently to people and they pick up on that, uh, that sort of lack of confidence. So what I want to make sure you do this month is to stay strong, to stay open, open to new points of view and open to the possibility of success. A lot of times we focus so much on, you know, is someone going to do this to me that we forget that actually good things could come your way as well. So, uh, all of that being said, I will give you one cautionary note when it comes to your money. This isn't the best month for you to spend on luxury items, unnecessary purchases, etc. Uh, you'll see this person sort of up in the tree and there's all these sort of spoils beneath them, um, jewels and things. So I would say be careful. Sometimes you go towards a, you know, a, a material object to bring a missing piece of yourself, which it doesn't do it for that moment you feel good and then you look at it and you actually feel bad about the purchase so again be compassionate if you've already bought something either return it or or keep it and and be grateful for the lesson that it taught you and still enjoy your life and maybe enjoy whatever you bought but just try not to keep with that habit because this is the habitual card which is saying it's now your time to break free break free from the um possibly even for some of you from the addiction Okay, so we have Nine of Cups in reverse in your near future, and the Nine of Cups is generally speaking a positive card, particularly when it's upright. Usually uh, the only note on this is even in its positive form, it can denote uh, going to an extreme, sometimes overindulging in alcohol, chocolate, food, even exercise can be overindulged. So you want to basically exercise moderation. I would say the reverse, or the, um, the opposite of the Nine of Cups reverse would be like temperance, because temperance is about being controlled, measuring everything, understanding what you need and what you want and striking a balance, or even justice, which is about knowing what's right, and what's wrong. This card is about giving in to things, and the reversal of it is saying, try not to let your emotional dips or your stress or your anger um, pull you in, in, into a, a place that doesn't make sense particularly when it comes to money and also because your ego position this month is about thoughts, not to close yourself off to uh, other ways of thinking. That being said, looks like you have some great ideas this month that can really be put to good use, uh, especially at work, but there's so many warnings this month about staying open, staying open in your heart, in your mind, in your ears, taking everything in. So I want you to practice uh, putting a pause between speaking and really, really listening and, and trying to care about what that person or what a group of people are trying to communicate to you. Uh, because when you connect with them on a heart level, an authentic heart level, then anything is possible. 
when we look at your possibilities this month and also what your fears and your hopes are, it's all about ideas and, and bringing forth new things. This is a month for action. I'm seeing that uh, almost universally in all the, uh, the signs this month. So Ace of Wands, what does it mean? This is a demonstrative card. This is one where your thoughts can actually um, be manifest, but not so much through words as much as through action. So if you're having a hard time telling someone what you feel, you could show them what you feel. So this could be, it doesn't have to be roses. It doesn't have to be chocolates uh, when it comes to love. It could be something like just, you know, doing all the dishes, vacuuming the house and having dinner ready uh, for your roommate, for your partner, for your parents, um, whoever it is in your life, doing something just because, not because you're asked, expected, or paid, um, demonstrating your loyalty, if it's something at work, you know, keeping your promises, and then following through. So show your worth this month. If I had to sum it up for your sign, it's show your worth. And if that happens, people are going to react in uh, almost in kind. So basically, if you show that you deserve more, they're going to give you more. So that can be more, uh, more work, it can be more appreciation, it can be more understanding, but you lead by example this month. So basically, uh, show what you mean, lead by example, listen more than speaking. There's a lot of nonverbal cards here uh, towards the middle to end of the month, which is showing me that you'll have fertile ideas, lots of ideas, but you're going to have to really pay attention. And for those of you that are in a position of power, the Page of Wands is also a card when coupled with the Page of Swords about transparency. So make sure that people know what you expect, what's needed for them to be successful. Um, it's almost like a pack of dogs. They're looking for a leader. The leader has to be confident and has to understand and know, otherwise things become chaotic. So let's look at your catalyst card this month and see how everything's going to be connected for you. I usually pull it first, but this month I've been pulling it either in the middle or at the end. So um, your catalyst this month is, it's interesting. I guess it's because it was important for me to talk about being in command because we have um, Commander Ashtar here. It says, call to action, take, car uh, take, take charge, lead by example and walk your talk that's almost exactly what i said so i i believe that there are no accidents i was supposed to kind of go through it and this is absolutely underlining all of the things that were coming through through the tarot cards so again um some of you may need to towards the end of the month it's almost like a decree you're going to say it's time rallying the forces um so for leaders in in this group that are watching this you have to be clear controlled and confident. Um, for everybody else who's just trying to make things go, you know, day to day, and you may not be in a position of power, this is about exuding uh, sort of like a calm confidence. Uh, you don't want to be overconfident, but you want to put out to the world that I understand who I am, I know what you need, and I'm ready for whatever the world sends me. Um, it's, a, it's basically about even if you're not a leader, showing leadership qualities and showing control. Make sense? All right, let's take a look at your expanded forecast and we'll begin with your health card, which is looking at wellness overall. So wellness in the way that you approach your friends, your eating, your, um, your, your mental sort of cognitive abilities and how those are affecting your mood. It's, it's mind, body and spirit. So here's your health card this month. It says prioritize or priorities, I'm sorry. Um, and so we basically, again, another leader. We have a king in this one. I really want you to focus on making health a priority for you this month, not to uh, allow yourself to get distracted by work, by family, by being too tired. Because if you allow for time for exercise, for eating better, and for taking care of yourself, the world is basically your oyster. You can have all of this power that you've been giving away or sort of been letting go because you haven't been taking care of your own uh, person. So do take care of yourself this month. Let's take a look now at your, your wealth card. So let me shift this up a little bit. Okay, so your wealth card this month is
visions of life beyond death. Okay, so a lot of times this card will come through when you've just stepped away from something that meant a lot to you, or you might have lost someone in your life, or you're ready for a sort of metamorphosis, a change in your life. And so I want you to pay attention to your intuition, your dreams, as, uh, as I might have mentioned earlier. It's really powerful during retrograde and the lunar cycles that we've been going through. So uh, on full moons, on new moons, really keep a dream journal. And uh, through the first week of the month, as a retrograde sort of comes out of its uh, backward cycle, uh, you can receive some important downloads and information. So do pay attention to that. Fourth and the eighth are probably going to be two very important dates when it comes to having something come through your life that you might have to let go. Okay, so we looked at health, wealth. Let's take a look at your love and see what the cards are trying to say. Okay, so for love this month, it says do something for someone else. We were talking about compassion earlier. I really like how the expanded forecast seems to be supporting what I read earlier. So that shows some, some good synergy and synchronicity here. So um, give your attention to someone else. And I would also say that by, again, being demonstrative, by modeling the behavior that you want to receive, it's gonna be so much better than sort of commanding or demanding. So be gentle, be kind, and do subtle things that are going to make people look at you in a different way and think, wow, you've got a big heart, you're very strong, you're hardworking. Uh, that's how you command respect. Good leaders don't necessarily have to demand or belittle. They just basically attract people because they're so, it's such a good energy to be around. And if you think of, you know, great, great world leaders versus not, not so great world leaders, a lot of times the difference is their sense of self and their compassion for others. So exercise compassion, openness, kindness, and I think you'll get further than you'd ever imagine. So we looked at health, wealth, love. Let's take a look at your destiny card and see if you like where you're headed. I like to remind folks that the destiny card can be changed. It's basically a trajectory. If you don't like where you're headed, change where you're at. So this month we have um, Joan of Arc, Faith. Love this. This is basically asking you to not, ex like, you can't expect other people to follow you if you don't believe in yourself. Joan of Arc is a great example of someone who, even when other people didn't believe her, she knew, she heard, she understood. And this is also telling you to pay attention to um, what it, either people tell you or what you receive through clear audience. So this card is saying, believe. Believe in yourself, believe in your dream, and then connect to whatever it is that you consider your faith to give you the strength while everything is arranging itself um, through the universe. So let's do a quick review of everything, and that uh, I, I always find it, that's a great pl place for us to get focus here. So your channeled information was to be compassionate, to express compassion not only for others, but most importantly for yourself. Uh, as we saw after I did the general reading, this is a month to show that you are in control, even if you actually are not a boss or in an authority sort of position. You want to show a calm sort of sense that I know what's going on, I'm ready for any challenge. Think that to yourself. As we looked at the expanded forecasts again, setting your health as a priority this month, very important. When it comes to wealth, um, possibly letting go of things and welcoming in new things, visions of life beyond death. So for some of you that may have been laid off or may be ready for a new job, this is showing that there's more than whatever it was that you, even if you spent 30 years in it, whether it was three days, three weeks, or 30 years, um, you have a chance to, to start over, and it can be an exciting chance to start over. For love, being demonstrative, showing others, not always saying what you feel, but sometimes showing what you feel. Having faith in yourself, faith when no one else believes in you, that's the important thing. And when we looked at the cards that themselves here, again, a couple notes. The beginning of the month, communication is really key. Um, good month for group communication, public communication, even though we're in a in a retrograde cycle and also in the shadow this month, it's gonna work out for you. Uh, but after that first week, it's much more demonstrative as we said. Uh, it's, it's very important for you to stay open to new ideas, not to close yourself off, to show how you feel, to show your worth, and not to demand it, to attract people through your 
modeled behavior through the fact that you just are really doing great and people want to be around you. Keep your heart open. Uh, again, there might be an opportunity with an old flame coming through for many of you, uh, but for some of you there could be a new person uh, looking like it could be another air sign as well. Whatever the past month has brought you as far as fear, try to let go of it this month. That's going to put you in a much better place and it's going to help retrograde go through uh, much less sort of stressfully than it otherwise would. So I hope this was helpful for you. If you'd ever like to schedule a reading, I do offer one-on-one, -on -one, so you can click the link at the end of the video for more information. And to stay in touch, the best way, of course, is to subscribe to this channel, but you can also subscribe to my newsletter or join me on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. So join as many or as few as you'd like. Uh, I try to stay active on all of those. And that is the best way to know when I post the videos, which is usually the first of every month, as you know very well since you're watching this. Um, so if you found this useful, there's always an option at the end to donate. You can do that if you'd like to, but that's completely optional. Uh, finally, I'd just like to say thank you. Every month, you guys make it worthwhile through all of the likes, the subscribes, the beautiful comments that you provide. Um, please keep it up. I appreciate it, and I hope that in this 20 minutes or so, um, I gave you what you needed to navigate the month ahead. Looks like it's a pretty good one, uh, and it looks like you're going to exit it a lot stronger than when you began it, so can't ask for much more. Take care of yourself. Much love, much appreciation to you as well. I'll see you again in a month's time. Bye-bye.